So why do I do what I do? I want to change the world. I want to change the whole world. God, if he exists, to uh, paraphrase Al Pacino and Devil's Advocate, is an absentee landlord. While it may give some people comfort to believe that the landlord may, ev may eventually show up and fix some things, there's no good reason to think that's going to happen, and our pipes are leaking right now. I want a world where marriage equality is a reality. I want a world where anti-choicers have all changed their minds or have no more impact on legislation. I want a world where there are no second-class citizens. A world where religion isn't forced into impressionable minds as if it were true. Where people are taught how to think instead of what to think. Where skepticism and critical thinking are valued. Where science isn't merely valued where it's convenient where no cat is ever declawed. I want a world where no one is ever bullied or made to feel like an outsider, where all people earn a fair wage, and where people can speak their mind without fear of threats and harassment intended to bully them into silence. I want a world where mental illness is no longer stigmatized so that people can get the help that they need and deserve. I want a world where the purported psychics no longer act as parasites on the grief-stricken or mislead time-sensitive investigations. I want a world where nobody goes hungry or thirsty. I want a world where people don't ignore the firefighters, the search and rescue swimmers, the paramedics, the surgeons, and all the other good people who dedicate their lives to saving lives while praising their God and giving him credit for the work those people do. I want a world where real medicine is never secondary to prayer or pseudoscientific alternatives, where no child dies because their parents' religion forbids life-saving treatments. I want a world where you're elected based on your position, on the issues and not the position you're in when you pray. I want a world where sex is something you do with someone instead of to someone. I want a world where someone's value isn't primarily based on how they can make you feel. I want a world where citizens are still subject to the laws of the state and not the laws of the religious group that they belong to. I want a world where honor killings, acid attacks, and the stoning of people accused of witchcraft or adultery or driving a car or daring to be in public without a man are ideas that have long faded into the past and are viewed as the obvious inhuman abominations that they are. I want all of these things and more, and I'm not talking about some pie-in-the-sky utopia. I know we're never going to have a perfect world because we're prone to mistakes. But we can minimize the mistakes and we can oppose the intentional harm and we can combat the willful intentional, gleeful ignorance that people embrace on behalf of religions and superstitions. A perfect world is probably impossible, but a better world is definitely possible. And a better world is attained by aiming for the best possible world. Now, I can't address all these issues and be effective. I have to choose which ones I care more about at any given moment, and I have to focus my energies there while being mindful that these other issues exist and need attention. I have to find out where my strengths and passions are most effective. What do you want to do? What do you want to focus on? Where do your skills best serve? Are you a comedian, a musician, an author, an artist? I can't be begin to list all of the artists who influenced me without me even knowing it. Going back now, as someone who was a Christian for 25 years and who's now a godless heathen, and listening to lyrics that I'd never really paid attention to, Rewatching movies and comedy acts from my youth, I find countless pro-secular and even anti-religious messages that didn't click then, but definitely helped tune my mind toward becoming more receptive to differing points of view. Are you good at organizing events, leading groups, handling finances, motivating people, sharing information? There's a place for you in some organization on all of those areas. Are you in a position to merely be open and out so the people know that the good neighbor that they already like is a godless, secular, atheist, free-thinking, LGBTQ, skeptical humanist, making it virtually impossible for them to maintain a bigoted view of whatever label they previously disparaged. We need this sort of cultural change because it's hard to vilify and minimize any category of people if you already know and like people in that category. How many minds were changed about the homosexual community or transgender community because there were so many people out there that almost everyone had a relative or a friend or a friend of a relative from those communities, making it very difficult to keep viewing them as others. Marriage equality is at or near the tipping point. At this point, I think it's pretty much a race to see which state is so bigoted, backward, and Bible-bound that they're going to be the last one to grant rights to people. If it hasn't actually moved beyond the tipping point, it's very close. But religious privilege and prominence aren't at the tipping point. It may not even be close to the tipping point. But there are religious individuals who are. 
And after a lifetime of going around with all the indoctrinated, unquestioning minds that surround them, they're now engaging their doubts and eager to explore the world. But they need encouragement, they need education, and they need communities to land in when their minds finally give in to reality. I'm focused on religion, philosophy, theology, and I'm doing it through debates and education. And many times I've heard people snidely condemn someone for focusing on one issue instead of another that might seem to be more important. There should be no contest or competition about which issue is bigger or more in need of focus because every second spent arguing about who's doing the most good on the biggest issue is a second that wasn't spent fixing either one of them. And in all of this, no matter which issues we address, we can't forget to enjoy life, to live, to love, to eat, to mourn, to celebrate, and to just be. And for most of us, that means embracing the social creatures we are and sharing thoughts, tragedies, and triumphs. Religionists often try to suggest that our lives must be some joyless, purposeless existence. It's one of many lies that have been spread about secularists, and I'm hoping to help alongside many other individuals and groups, uh, those who are dedicated to, to correct the misinformation from those who are dedicated to presenting this misinformation repeatedly to the public. I want to change the world. I want to eliminate religious and superstitious thinking. I want to end religious privilege. I want a world like the one I described. And I'm working toward this goal by debating those who spread these ideas and educating others on how to be more effective at engaging those who spread these ideas. What do you want to do? What kind of world do you want? And what's keeping you from doing it? Thanks.